Hi all, my name is Sydney Sheffield. For my presentation today, I will be discussing my experience as a research assistant. I'm currently a senior majoring in public health and minoring in Chinese. For the past two years, I've been assisting Dr. Katherine Johnson in sociology and Dr. Elisa Letterer in public health with their study evaluating a new course in the Gender and Sexuality Studies program called Guest 1900 Sex, Power, and Culture. We have been evaluating this course for its potential to alter students' sexual violence-related knowledge, attitudes, and behavior, and also campus climate generally. I was originally drawn to social science research after a brief period working in a hard science lab. From that experience, I realized that the knowledge I truly wanted to uncover lay in stories and not test tubes. As a feminist and a friend to many survivors, I've long been invested in combating the sexual violence epidemic. So when I was presented with the opportunity to work with Dr. Johnson and Dr. Letterer on this project, it was an obvious choice. In this project, we sought to answer the question, what impact do students who took Guest 1900 believe the course had three months after the conclusion of the course? We employed multiple methods involving pre and post surveys and analyzing student writing, but I personally took the lead on the interview portion of the study. I conducted and helped analyze semi-structured interviews with 15 students three months after their completion of the course. As shown on the slide, three overarching categories emerged from our coding for course impact, tool acquisition, ideological change, and behavior change. Each of these overarching categories encompasses several themes that we found within the interview transcripts. Based on the interview data, in combination with the surveys and student writing, our main finding was as follows. A semester long course focusing on sex, gender, and power dynamics has the potential to positively impact students' knowledge, attitudes, and behavior, and thus positively alter campus climate. Through this work, I've gained experience conducting literature reviews, conducting interviews, analyzing qualitative data, developing research posters, writing manuscript introductions, and presenting posters at national conferences. The photos on the slide are from my poster presentation at Conceiving Equity 2020 and my virtual poster presentation at the American Public Health Association Annual Meeting 2020. But this position has also taught me so much more than just research methodology. I've learned just how deeply entrenched sexual violence facilitating behaviors and ideologies are in our culture. In line with this understanding, over the past three decades, research on sexual violence perpetration has shifted from the focus on patho pathology that dominated the previous several decades to a life course perspective, which accounts for the unique developmental, social, and cultural influences of an individual's life. I have also had the opportunity to observe the power of qualitative research, which gave students the flexibility to tell their stories the way that felt most authentic to them, and provided our research team with rich data that could not be shown through our other methods. Working under feminist researchers, I have also learned to listen and respond to my emotional needs, value my time and the time of others, speak up when I have thoughts even if I don't believe myself to be an expert yet, and challenge myself by conducting my own research on perinatal loss for my upcoming honors thesis. These are skills and values that I do not believe most undergraduate research assistants have had the opportunity to build in their positions, so I have been incredibly grateful for mine. Thank you so much for your time. I'd also like to take a moment to thank some special people. Dr. Johnson and Dr. Letterer, thank you for semester after semester trusting me with the opportunity to be a part of your work, mentoring me through this formative experience and teaching me what it means to conduct feminist research. Jessica, thank you for being both a cheerleader and a role model for me and helping me develop my confidence as a student researcher. Claire, Newcomb Institute and donors, Thank you for graciously providing the funding and the guidance for me and other interns to continue this work. Also, this study was funded by a Tulane University Carol Lavin Burnick faculty grant and the Tulane Gender and Sexuality Studies Program, Yorn Fund. 
I could not be here without you all. Thank you.